everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence and I give you thanks and praise once again because you are a good God and you provide for our needs. You carry us through the storms. You are our shelter and our rock. Father, we give you thanks. There is not enough words to describe our gratitude towards you. So, Father, we offer ourselves as a living sacrifice. We strive to obey your commandments, to live in the way that you want us to live. But, Lord, I ask that you will forgive me of my sins and offenses I've done against you so that my prayer can enter your holy throne, so that our communication can be on track and sound. 
Father, I thank you and I praise you for each one who is tuning in to this devotional, each one who is taking time out of their day to spend a few moments with you. I ask that you will open up their spiritual eyes and hearts and minds to receive the word that you have in store for us today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled Obadiah, Jesus is our Savior. It was written by Antonio Corrales and translated by Carlos Sunza. Our biblical base comes from Obadiah chapter 1 verses 1 through 14. So says the word of God. The vision of Obadiah. Thus says the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a report from the Lord, and a messenger has been sent among the nation, saying, Arise and let us rise up against her for battle. Behold, I will make you small among the nations. You shall be greatly despised. The pride of your heart has deceived you. You who dwell in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, you who say in your heart, Who will bring me down to the ground? Though you ascend as high as the eagle, and though you set your nest among the stars, from there I will bring you down, says the Lord. If thieves had come to you, if robbers by night, Oh, how you will be cut off. Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If grape gatherers had come to you, would they not have left some gleaning? Oh, how Esau shall be searched out, how his hidden treasures shall be sought after. All the men of your confederacy shall force you to the border. The men at peace with you shall deceive you and prevail against you. Those who eat your bread shall lay a trap for you. No one is aware of it. Will I not in that day, says the Lord, even destroy the wise men from Edom and understanding from the mountains of Esau? Then your mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed to the end that everyone from the mountains of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For violence against your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you, and you shall be cut off forever. In the day that you stood on the other side, in the day that strangers carried captive his forces, when foreigners entered his gates and cast lots for Jerusalem, even you were as one of them. But you should not have gazed on that day of your brother in the day of his captivity, nor should you have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction, nor should you have spoken proudly in the day of distress. You should not have entered the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Indeed, you should not have gazed on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. You should not have stood at the crossroads to cut off those among them who escaped, nor should you have delivered up those among them who remained in the day of distress. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Obadiah is the shortest book of the Old Testament. It means servant of the Lord. Obadiah was called to communicate a message from God to the city of Eden because of their indifference and contempt towards God. Because of their cowardice and betrayal of their brothers in Judah, they would be condemned and destroyed. This prophecy concludes with the description of the day when the Lord will come back, when judgment will fall on all the wicked. However, God's people will receive that day being confident in the salvation that comes from him. When Christ comes, the kingdom of God will be made complete. No one who heeds the Lord and puts his trust in him will be put to shame. Blessed be our glorious Savior, who through his death and resurrection had chosen us 
washing and purifying our souls, putting on our account his perfect righteousness, so that in this way we can receive the salvation that comes from the Lord. The enemies of the Lord will be destroyed. That last enemy, death, will end when the righteous will be resurrected to live forever in the presence and company of our Savior. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we know the last days when Jesus Christ descends from glory in the clouds, in the trumpet sound, we will be resurrected to live forever in eternity with him. All of those who put their trust in him, who surrender and bow the knee to Jesus Christ will be saved. If we put our trust in him, we will not be put to shame because he is faithful in his promises. He has promised us salvation if we put our faith and trust in him. My brothers and sisters, the invitation today is to put your trust in him. If you have already done that, great. Do it again. This is a continuous decision on your part to keep putting your trust and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.
beautiful song. And now, my brothers and sisters, I invite you to check out our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we continue with the book of 2 Samuel. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. <music> 